Hello. Welcome to episode of Real Talk and High Five. Today we complete the puzzle. If we don't complete the puzzle, then it's over. <laughs> the show <laughs> is thrown in the towel. Like for the entire show, it's it's over. Yeah, forever. I'm putting in my two weeks notice. <laughs> <laughs> I made that joke off camera, and he just stole it. Anyways, how's everybody I doing? I own you. <laughs> you signed a contract. We have a contract. I don't know where I'm going with. Okay, so this doesn't make any sense. I want to quit already. Because how can that be oh, that here? Doesn't fit. Yeah. That doesn't fit at all. If that's there. God, Dingus. Eric Dingus. Eric Dingus, producer of Tempo by Bones. Yes, did he produce Tempo? Yes. yes. That's what I was thinking. Give me a second. I need to catch the Tempo Tempo. One of Bones it. most underrated songs. I, would, I agree. I agree. You're like... I, that's one you never hear about. You always hear about Rest in Peace. Because Rest in Peace is up. It, yes. Banger. Wild. Have you ever fucking Fireball. Bad to the Bone? What a weird song. Look at all these mouths. Bad to the Bone. What a weird time in music. Dude, have you ever heard like, like One Hit Wonders and not like... Not like the one-hit wonders that you remember. The ones that you don't remember from, like, that area. Yeah. They're so weird. Some of them are so weird. It's just like he's really cold in the Arctic and it's just like... I wonder if anybody's made that joke before. I'm almost positive you are not the first person to make that joke. What? Shut up. That song, I don't like it. Oh, what? You're telling me that Bad to the Bone is not a banger? <laughs> so do, who sings that? I don't even know, dude. This has to go somewhere. 60s band number four. <laughs> Was that 60s? Oh, here we go. I think it's probably 70s. Hitting the gargle. It might, this is, it's such a weird, like... It's one of those songs you can't really put a date on. It could have been made ten years ago... Or it could have been made, f- like, fucking 50 years ago. Bad to the bone. 1982. Mm-hmm. By George Thorogood. George Thorogood. I bet that's the only song he's made. That's the only song anyone's ever recognized. You know, but watch there be, like, you know, that we're going to get, like, a comment that's like, Dude, George Thorogood. I am the biggest George Thorogood fan ever. <laughs> Y'all don't know about that George Thorogood. Him. Now put him in the tag, so maybe he'll see us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe George Thorogood will watch. Yeah, 1980s um, bad to the bone enthusiast George Thorogood. <laughs> enthusiast. He's just an enthusiast about being bad to the bone. I just think it's a really good idea. Not only are you bad to the skin, you're bad to the bone. <laughs> I nurture my skin. My skin will never be bad. Do the gold bond tangle. So I feel like I'm missing some pieces for over here because I've only got three shirt pieces right here left. And none of them fit anywhere. Unless I'm just a stupid. I think you're just a stupid. That fit like that. JK. Rowling. The bell like you know, JK that's not Rowling. Her, that's not her, her real name. Yeah. It's a pen name. It's a pen 15 name. Oh, shit, dog. Oh. So Shane Dawson came out with this thing called Inside the Mind of Jake Paul. Yeah, you told me about that. And I haven't watched it yet, but... Does that fit? The I'm very there? intrigued. Like, that looks like it would fit there, right? No. <laughs> but, like, it completes his armhole. Shit. Shit. Oh, that one doesn't fit there at all. That's why it's not working, because you're just stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got here earlier. I came to the office early to finish, to do some off-camera puzzle work, and I might have. it might be subpar puzzling. <laughs> subpar puzzling. I was a little tired. Wow, that's your excuse for everything. But I mean, someone was late, so I forgot Spoderman at home. Homerman. Homer Simpson. Marge. <laughs> Marge. I don't know why my, my Homer Simpson impression was Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Marge. Miss Piggy. You know, do you like Muppets? Oh god, I really for some reason I really thought that was gonna go. A really different direction. In what direction would that be, sir? Can you please enlighten me? Do you think Miss Piggy is a good lay? 
a good lay. Why do you say things? Because <laughs> I just want to know if Miss Pig is a good lay. I can't tell. Does that totally fits there, right? Like I'm not tripping. Because then, like that matches up, yeah, but then that, that part doesn't match that up. Fits. Does it? Yeah, that fits. Oh, I don't know. If it fits, I sits. Cat meme twenty twelve. <laughs> Is that like a movie? <laughs> Miss Piggy Goodlay, 2018. Do you think? Do you think? No. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, she's got, she's got that. She thick. I'm not going to say that. She, she, she thicky. She is a thicky. She also has the same voice as Yoda. She could throw a bag. Did you know that? And be like, damn it! Man! You know, Homer Simpson and Marge no. are totally just Kermit and Ms. Piggy. No, no, they're not. It's <laughs> just a... Merge. Kermit! <laughs> it fits. No. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Folk. <laughs> God, I can't... There's two shirt pieces left, and neither of them fit. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, the... F- Frick, dude, that one's supposed to go there, but okay, but it doesn't, but it don't. That's the one I was just talking about. You're like, no, it doesn't fit there, and now you're like, oh shit, like, maybe well, no, it, does. it doesn't fit there because you can see right there those two things don't correlate. But shut the frick up, dude. <laughs> Please stop picking on me. <laughs> you know that smell like on the first day of school? I just got that for some reason. You know, like you associate certain smells with things, and you get that like that like that smell that's on the first that you smell on the first day of school. It's like the school has a different scent on the first day than it does every other day. And you're just like, yeah, this smells like school. <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm stupid. Uh, I mean, I was, I'm just I'm taken aback at. No, you know it's true. Like you I'm, know it to be true. No, it's not that it's like the school smells different. It's just you're perceiving it different. Yes, because, because you're on a different dimensional God, plane. You know that's what I mean. You know that's what I mean. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, 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 you you is. Put Wait. your tongue right in All right, there. Hand me the shit. Hand me the shit with his face on it. I want to see this boy's face. Please stop picking on me. Ay, caramba. So that's definitely there. That definitely fits there. Look at his little feet. He got little feet. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Honja. Honja. Slug Christ, please come on for an interview. Yeah. You know, I'd be okay with that. That would be... Okay. Pretty pretty exciting. Okay, so that fits there. And then, oh shit. Frick, dude. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna freak all over the place. Oh, God, dude. Oh, man. You know, like. Oh, like Scoob. Oh. Puzzle Boy. Oh, the puzzle's not finished. <laughs> Are you sure? I got his red sweater done. That means it's done, right? Put your hands in my butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll do that. Dude, I'll use that's that like thing the, that they like use. That's like the 21 um, Savage Rockstar meme. I use that thing that they use as a gynecologist. Where it's like they put Please it don't in, t- stop talking. And then they <laughs> crank it and then it just... I like to call it the gate key. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever heard anyone <laughs> say in my entire life. Yeah, I'm like happy with myself, but also disappointed no. in myself. <laughs> like you ever, you yeah, ever we're moving on? Look at that! Boom. Hey. I don't like that. Hey. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. For sure. Totally, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Random mass here, man, man, man. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. 
why'd you turn into a chicken? Does that, is that where that like that's his neck, right? Like that, yeah, that's his neck. What that neck do, that Poppy? Give him neck, bro. Throw that neck back, son. I don't get what that means. Can you explain it to me, Father? Bro, throw that neck. Yeah, it means giving like, the or, giving the oral pleasuring <laughs> to a puppy. Wow. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I know so many things now. I mean, I'm not honestly like I'm not sure. Not a hundred percent of. I mean, like I'm not. Your... I'm not hip with the new kids nowadays. You know, neither am I. I, I said honestly, um, sometimes kids will like say stuff, and I'm like, what? what? <laughs> I um, I said heck of dope the other day, and I was like, I was texting Ooh, Grace, and I was like, pepper. yeah, that's heck of dope, like the kids say, and then she was like, is that what the kids are saying? Is it really what the kids are saying? <laughs> And I was just like, no, <laughs> but it's what I'm saying. Okay, I need to put my hair back. You know, I'm getting tired of putting my hair. Think my about hair it, like, in my face. I am a kid. The viewers, I'm leaving. I am a kid, so I am what the kids are saying. Now I got some alone time. How's your day been? How's uh, how's school going? Are you getting good grades? That's great. If you don't get good grades, I'll I'll I'll, I'll have to lock you in the closet. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this nips, dude. Thanks, bro. Epic nips, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Good load, bro. Nice tits. <laughs> Epic load. <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome to our, welcome back to our Ben Shapiro, um, fan show. Jeez, he's getting his own show on Fox. Is he? I don't. Be- I don't. That doesn't surprise me. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care like people are kind of making a big deal about it. I'm just like, okay. I mean, good for him. He's prospering, I guess. They don't want to see a Shapiro prosper. They don't want to see a Jewish king prosper. <laughs> Jewish overlord. Ben Shapiro. See, like, how am I, this is random flesh-colored piece, like, how am I supposed to figure out where this shit fits? Flesh color. I think you're flesh color. I am. Nice. Yeah. (laughs) You're welcome. Yeah. You're so welcome. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, definitely, I think it's time to throw in the towel. (laughs) What are you singing? The Golden Girls theme song. You okay, okay. That? Why did you say that to me like I was stupid? <laughs> <laughs> because who doesn't know the damn Golden Girls theme song? <laughs> Everybody knows that shit, dog. Like, don't even play like, that. Like, comment, and subscribe if, if you, you know, know the Golden, Golden Girls. Girls theme song. <laughs> if you could sing the Golden Girls song verbatim, featuring, <laughs> um, featuring Lil Yachty, Paula Dean. <laughs> She was with the Golden Girls, right? No. Are you sure? Positive. Are you sure Paula Are you Dean? Are sure Paula Dean wasn't on the Golden Girls? Are you sure? Are you sure Paula Dean isn't your mom, Polly D? You know, I didn't consider that. That's from the Eric Andre show. That man is a genius. He is something else. Next topic. <laughs> I need a mouth. There's, wait, here's a, there's a ton of mouths. <laughs> there's, there's more than one. Like, what? <laughs> nope. Not that mouth. Don't drop that. Don't you dun, 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 dun. forget about me. I've never seen that movie. It's pretty good. Is it? Is it yeah. a good one? Would you recommend? I would recommend, for sure. I, I know, know it's like, it's like, it's, it's one of the white people movies. Yes, definitely. I watched it um, for the first time like a year ago, and when I told people that that was my first time seeing it, they were like, (gasps) what? (laughs) You've never seen The Breakfast Club before? Ah! (laughs) They just like explode. (laughs) Why did you forget about me? (laughs) Is that like a me? I feel like that's a thing I did. I feel like that's a joke I said. What? Why did you forget about me? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Sometimes I feel bad for like Why? You'll, you'll say something and I'll be like, "Ha, that's really funny." Who said and that? And then you'll s- yeah, and then you'll be like, 
It'll be like you said that, and I was like, oh. Or when I say something funny, and then you say it later on, and then you're like, man, where did I hear that before? <laughs> and then I'm just like, you're a clout chaser, <laughs> stealing my jokes. I just forget. So much stupid stuff comes in and out of my brain every day. I'm no, like, you make it about me. Like today, I was I was thinking about how I came up with this joke. Remember how in school we did that play about, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I can't. That joke will not be funny out of context. No, no. I, I, go, go ahead. Let's see where it goes. Oh God. Let's see how it, how it, how it okay, plays so out. Okay, so we did a we did a play about. The um, it was loosely based on the man who broke into an Amish schoolhouse and shot all the girls. Uh huh. And there was this, there was this scene like, it was like one of those really big ensemble pieces where it was really big and grand, and there's a bunch of parts where it was like, man enters Amish schoolhouse, and we were doing the lines, and I went, I went. Man enters me, and I, and, I, and I still think about it sometimes because it was really funny to me. <laughs> it haunts me that I was that funny at one point. Every single day. I Your forget. brother thought it was really funny. Uh, of course he did. He thinks <laughs> anything is funny except for me. He's a dickhead. <laughs> he sounded really hurt by that. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Are, Are you sure? Are you sure? Please, ma'am. Can I get some coochie? <laughs> no, like all of those like Instagram models and stuff like that. But that um, um there's a ton of. Let me finish my story first. <laughs> there's a ton of Instagram models that are like posting on their stories, like, "Please stop DMing me asking for coochie." Because <laughs> I guess people are like, "Spare coochie, ma'am." <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. It's also slightly harassment. Yeah. But it's also really it's, funny. Like, you gotta, at some point, you gotta kind of be like, oh well. <laughs> well, and, like, it's, at some point, you gotta realize when something's like a joke. And I mean, I guess if you're not connected to the meme community that much, you won't know. Also, how come people on the internet haven't learned that every time you ask someone to stop doing something, you only increase yeah. the fact that it's gonna happen? You know. Did Harambe not, <laughs> did that not, in, like, when will you learn yeah, what? that your actions have consequences? Like, how did that, how did, that whole Harambe situation, it was like a meme, and then they were like, stop making it a meme, and then it's it's still a meme Continu- to this day. Yeah. It's one of the biggest memes ever. It really was, and I don't know why. Well, it's because people love making humor out of a tragedy. Yeah, but it wasn't that funny. Like, and it wasn't that really, like, it was sad, but I wouldn't no, say it's because, a tragedy, like, like. I mean, some people, it really, some people were, like, actually upset about it, and I was like, okay, I mean, maybe guys. it's because I've never been to the Cincinnati, like, if I was a kid who grew up in Cincinnati, and they were like, oh my god, they killed Harambe. They clapped my boy Harambe. <laughs> then maybe I'd be like, oh shit, dog. But, like, that is mildly inconveniencing to me. Shit, chief. This ain't it. How much, how, much, how much time we got on this? We're at like 20 minutes almost. Okay. Yeah. We're not doing this anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to finish this puzzle, right? We'll have our secretary do it. Just kidding. I already notified her that we we're going to have her do a puzzle, and she was not okay with it. So our secretary is not doing it. So this is just a waste. This is all for naught. And we can't have it on the table for the next episode. It's all for Nocturne and Totem. And we can't, uh, we can't move it. The new Call of Duty is going to be lit. Shit, how did, I've had this piece the whole time and I was looking for it over there. I'm like, why can't I find this piece? But look, look at right him. There. Look how happy he is. He's happy. We'll leave you off on this note, people. No, I mean, we got, are, are, we, are we throwing in the towel? Do we quit? It, five more minutes, <laughs> I guess. <sighs> A funny banter... Yeah, five more minutes of funny banter, if you can call it that. And stupid. I don't know. Puzzle. It's the, I'll watch back our episodes, and I'm like, you know, some of these are actually pretty good. 
Yeah, I know. From like a from an objective standpoint. But y'all aren't giving us the clout that we deserve. I just want the clout, mother. Give me clout. Follow us on Instagram at Real Talks and High Fives. I require the clout. That's gonna sound great. Follow us on Instagram at Real Talks and High Fives. Yeah, we have an Instagram now. It's run by Seth's wonderful girlfriend Allie. She's over there. <laughs> You know, I've been listening to a lot of 311 recently. I love that song. I recommended that song to someone who was on acid last night. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, don't ever do that, kids. Yeah, you gotta do that. It takes practice. Just look at the human beatbox. I feel like we talk about the human beatbox a lot. Like, it's cool, the human beatbox, but, like, it gets to a point where I'm just like, he needs to calm down. <laughs> he, needs to, he needs to breathe slower. Stop going so hard. Chief. I mean, he was, was he, like, the first? Do you think he's, like, one of the first beatboxers? I don't know. Is that, like, his thing? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyway, so, what's up, guys? That's this mouth. Hey. I found his mouth. Nope. Yes? <gasps> yes! I think we can keep all this stuff connected. Put it over there somewhere. And that's yeah, that's probably not gonna work. You got a you got a you got a pizza peel, my guy. You can just like no, a very I mean, large like, spatula. You could. Oh no, no. <laughs> Part of me wants to just throw it off the table, just for the comedic effect. Well, that's not funny anymore. Yeah, now that I mentioned it. I was going to do it, but I felt like you were going to get mad at me. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Have I and then we'd done? have to clean it up, and I'm not... Yeah, that's also true. And then I'd feel like all of this work, it was all for naught. It was all for nothing. There was something I wanted to talk about, but I forgot about it, so... What did we learn today? Zane, please come back to One Direction. Stop! <laughs> Just get over it! That hurt will never heal, Logan. <laughs> you don't understand. I can't fake the way I did before. Don't do you back on me. I won't be ignored. I've been on a real Lincoln Park kick lately. They're good. Who's time out? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll catch you guys later. You know, catch you on the flip side, nerds. <laughs> when did this stop being funny? <laughs> <laughs> God, in the episode, please. Not your slave. We, I told you about the contract. <laughs>